Juan Duque had another great question. Do you happen to have the MOI data that differentiates class A, B, and C type properties? MOI, months of inventory, shake your shake your thing around, make the noise. Yeah, you know Glad you doing. asked, Juan. <laughs> so GC, we talk about MOI all the time. Juan asked for this. But what is the MOI right now? Months of inventory is 2.9 here in Jacksonville overall. Okay, which means that normally historical months of inventory is 4.3. Is six to seven. It's six to seven, which if it is between six to seven, then you want to, then that means that you are at the historical appreciation rate, which is 4.6 and having something that's 2.9, having a lower than, than historical average months of inventory means that we should expect higher than average home price appreciation. Now, Juan also wants you to dive into some of the class. Let me caveat you there mm -hmm. because this is not a normal market. So yes, in a normal market, if it's just call it, there aren't as many variables. Yes, it's pretty easy to say you would see, expect to see higher than normal home price appreciation when you're below six. And 2.9 is way below six. Mm -hmm. Like that's very rare that we've ever been that low. You know, but that's why you need to keep tuning into this show because there are other variables at play. So I will caution it a little bit here, right? I don't exactly know what the Fed's going to do, but the Fed does have the the power to really dampen demand mm -hmm. by raising interest rates. And so, but what this should communicate to you, 2.9 versus six means no crash. That's what you should be taking from this. Whether that means higher than 4.6% home price appreciation, I'm not sure. We're mm -hmm. going to figure it out together. Okay. But the question of, do we break it down by neighborhood type, A, B, C, D, we actually do that. I just haven't really shared it with you, but we do it every single month. So I thought that was a really cool leading question there, Juan. So I have it broken down here. So A neighborhoods, which would be call it the nicest neighborhoods that you can think of in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. They have 2.8 months of inventory. B neighborhoods, a step down above middle income, but not high, high income neighborhoods. 2.5 months of inventory. C neighborhoods, workforce housing neighborhoods, where we focus 2.8 months of inventory. And then D neighborhoods, low-income neighborhoods, 4.4 months of inventory. Interesting. Interesting. So A, Bs, and Cs are right around the same. Ds have higher months of inventory, which is not unusual. What do you take from that data, GC? What should we infer from that? You know, not much. I mean, if there were huge swings, I mean, going from three to four, you know, going from rounded three to rounded four to going from A to D or whatnot, mm -hmm. that's not really significant to me. If it was 10 versus three, then I'd say, all right, something's going on here. Let's talk a lot about why this is happening. But, you know, this is pretty normal, right? So no, I don't, there's really not a whole lot of in, information to be gained by breaking it down, you know, as far as helping you make better decisions. Inventory is low everywhere. That's the the main theme here. Got it. A couple easy ones for you to answer. What is the current median sales price for homes in and around Jacksonville? 360 or so. 360 or so is median sales price, mm -hmm. which means that JWB inventory should be somewhere around where? About 180 to about 280 is our purchase prices. Okay. And how do you do that? Do you like multiply 360 by a certain percentage because you know that that's what the workforce housing range is? Or are you, are you just thinking about... I just know what our inventory is. <laughs> it's my company, so I know what I'm doing. I should probably know what our inventory is priced at. So no, it's it's not like based on what the market is doing. And then we, you know, go down. I just I look at our inventory. I see what our our salespeople are placing in the assets in the portfolios. So that's Got how it. you do that. Got it. 